Hey guys, um, it's Massey here, and I just thought I'd uh, bring you a little cut battle, which I just thought I'd shoot him. It says go there because I spent like four minutes not realising that I had a battle up. Anyway, um, so this battle was very, very close, and I just thought I'd uh, show you some threats. Um, so, as you can see, this is the Sandstorm team, and it uses this combo very nicely. Basically, I need to get rid of Bronze on. I can probably sweep this entire team. My tracks and retrievers, possibly not. I know I can one shot in the end, but Bronze is just going to be too much of a threat. Which is why I have the Magnum right. Um, Lily, special defense hits 36 in this battle, 37 1 the 2. So I know I can take any special hit at once. Bollaby is pretty cool because it's got it's an offensive threat with Brave Bird, and it has um, some very good defenses as well. The Judas is there to stop. Fact is, I'd like the Enfu from sweeping. Meowth could have been a problem as well, but you'll see that it really isn't. Okay, let's move on to the battle. Okay, so as predicted, uh, my opponent needs off a chain chow, knowing I'm not going to be setting up the, the sand. So um, I kind of thought he would. Volt switch, but just in case he did attack me, um, I switched into the leap. And uh, look how well I took that super effective hit. Anything with a normal special defense would have probably have taken around 50% of that. And that was super effective as well. So that just goes to show you how beastly the leap is. Um, he is uh, really annoyed me later on um, in the chat, but I won't say what happens. So I know that the streamers can take any hit from this Mianfu as he U turns out. Unfortunately, Mistrevis doesn't have the greatest survivability, but I do just go for the pain split, and then I think I misclick here and go for another pain split, but it turned out to be okay. Because he goes for a bite, and that is a lot of damage. And yeah, so that that was an accident. But you know what? It was okay with me because I can have switch my Hippopotas as he goes for a bite, and I'm guessing I can sort of just life orb saw him now and with the sandstorm. Uh, okay, well, let's make him attack once more. He hits me with the return, which does a lot, activating my arm Barry and uh, putting a hippo pizzazz. Uh, so you can really be setting up stealth rocks, to which I can now predict the return and bring in Mistrevis, and then predict the bite and bring in uh, my hippo pizzazz. So, all my pokes are still alive, and he's lost his mouth, which is very, very helpful for me because otherwise I mean, I was, it was going to be a pain. Um, so it's Mr. Grievous going to set up the sub. I'm just going to slack off as um, my opponent hits me with the Shadow Wolf. Hippopotas saves it. Uh, sorry. Hippopotas has enough bulk load that it can take one as I roar it out. So this ray I'm just going to sack it. I'm guessing that's in power fire considering he has ice beam as well. So I'm kind of thinking to say it's probably the Volt Switch Hydro Pump. In power and ice cream. Um, I bring in my drill, and I predict him to go into his bronzel, so I use that as bait to um, go into magnemite. Just in case he runs the earthquake, I go for the magnemite. Uh, sorry, I go for the magnet rise uh, as, my, as he hits my balloon away. So I just hit it with him power fire, and I don't mind the rocks, it doesn't hurt my team too much. Only Volibee is really hurt by them, so. And uh, Volibee is sort of, they just take. Alright, a few hits and get out, but sometimes it can actually stall his opponents, which is difficult to do in a little cup. So I predict uh, him to. Here I predict him to think I'm going to go into Mistrevis, and so he'll U turn, so I'm going to stay in. Bit risky, but I know he'll, he'll just go into Ching Chow anyway, so. Imagine my can't really hit Ching Chow because it's only attacks are uh, Bolt Switch, a Hin Power Fire, and Flash Cannon. But you know what, it's, it's okay. Uh, every bit of damage is very helpful. Combined with the Sandstorm, and the stealth rocks, it's doing around 30%, which is good. So then comes Drilba now, and Drilba can pretty much wreck his team from here on out. I kind of was wondering if you wanted to switch into Mistrevis, and I was thinking, okay, he'll probably predict me to go for a Swords Dance or something, so, um, to predict him to go for a switch. But you know what, I just uh, take the risk and go for the Earthquake, and it pays off. So here, I'm I just sack Mistrevis, there's really nothing to do, and I did not see this unprotected focus punch coming. And Volaby takes it like a beast, even though it was just plain dark type at this time. 
Bollaby takes it amazingly well, and it can't. Uh, and here I predict him to go for another focus punch, which is just stupid. I don't know why he's going for a focus punch here, because I just go for a brave bird. So yeah, that was really stupid on his part. But the fact that I, I know a focus punch is coming, there's no point in me roosting. Um, yeah. So I'm going to drill now, and I'm just going to finish this guy off with an earthquake. And it's kind of a difficult position for me because he's not, he's got two one annoying book, one in this mischievous. And I'm like, okay, well, let's bring out a little leap uh, because I know I can take any hit from it, and I should be able to use energy ball and uh, basically just take it out. with that sandstorm, knowing that his shadow will do absolutely nothing to me. So he predicts the recover. I'm guessing. No, I'm just going to be straight for the energy wall, since it's so late game, there's no, not really much point. And all he has left is, is his Nienfu, which he can just revenge kill my leap with. However, thanks to Sand Rush, my uh, Drillbill will easily be able to come in and one-shot this Nienfu with an Earthquake, and that is good game, Pokemon Trainer. Um, just want to apologize for the last battle about with the... Um, outside bit, I forgot to pound the zoom it. Yeah. And did I mention what time it was? I just turned out seven twenty in the morning and I have to school in about I have to go catch actually no it might be half past now. Here it is. I have to go catch a bus in about half an hour, forty minutes. And I'm I'm nowhere near ready, so uh, see you soon. Thanks for watching.